All right, Dan. So tonight had there had to be some ups and downs tonight, some good things, some bad things. Obviously, you're a big Kelty supporter. That had been a disappointment, but some you know Republicans won too. Give us give us your thoughts on the night in general. To be honest with you, it was pretty much what I expected. I mean, I'd hope for a Matt Kelty win, but I just knew that you know in light of the indictments, the bad press that you know four way newspapers gave Matt. Uh, New Center 21 and 33 and Channel 15 gave them. I mean, all anybody could talk about during this entire campaign was, you know, the indictments instead of focusing on the issues. And I knew that, that would have an effect on the voters, and it did. And that's what happened. Where does, uh, or what's your thoughts on where, where does the Republican Party go forward from here? I mean, obviously there's, there's a little bit of tension throughout this campaign, to say the least. So. Where do you, where is it where do you see it going from here? Well, that's a loaded question. How <laughs> does it mean to be? But you know, I'm not, I'm not a, a member of any executive committee or anything like that. I can, I can tell you that, you know, I I think that we have some rifts in the party that need to be uh, seriously addressed by uh, Steve Shine, um, and I think Steve's looking at those. Um, you know, whether or not it's time for new leadership or not, I don't know. Uh, maybe it is. Um, it, we need some party unity. We need to bring the party back together. Uh, this has been the biggest debacle of the party. I mean, this doesn't even compare to the Joe Squadrito, Linda Busker event. Um, we got a lot. We've got a lot of work to do. What about um, Fort Wayne News? What, where, where's Fort Wayne? I mean, the municipal election's done now, fortwaynews.com. What are, where, are you, where are you going from here? Oh, well, I'm going to be the watchdog and overseer <laughs> of the Tom Henry administration. I mean, I will, I've already cataloged, basically. Uh, he really didn't make any camp campaign promises, but, you know, basically what he stumped on, I'll keep check on that and make sure that he... he delivers what he promised. Um, you know, it kind of like what Rush Limbaugh said, you know, if, if Hillary wins, that's just going to give me four more years of stuff to talk about. <laughs> and Tom Henry won, that's going to give me four more years of stuff to blog about. Uh, and I'm going to have fun doing it. All right, last, give us your thoughts on Crawford. Looks like he lost tonight. I'm really left. disappointed that John Crawford lost. Uh, you know, John Crawford and I have become friends over the last two, three months. And uh, I know the smoking ban had a little bit to do with it. I don't think much, probably like you. Uh, I think one thing that did hurt John was when he said at the vote at the city council meeting, and I was there, you were there, uh, where he said, uh, 78 or 86 percent of my constituents aren't for Harrison Square, but I'm going to vote for it. And here comes a street sweeper. <laughs> so, oh, it is turning around. Yeah, we, we yeah, it. must be friends with Steve Shine. <laughs> uh, and I think that hurt John more than the smoking ban did. Uh, one of the reasons I endorsed John was because we're looking at the makeup of all the city uh, at-large city council candidates and their qualifications, John was one of the best qualified at them. Um, just like John Shof was. I voted for John Shof and it's the first time I've ever voted for a Democrat. And I voted based on, you know, the candidate. I, don't know, I just, John will be back. Maybe, maybe in four years, John will run for mayor. Yeah. All right, and then the last, tell us what you think about Fort Wayne Left. Fort Wayne Left, bunch of left tards. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you would just get rid of John Good and uh, Robert Rouse, rhymes with grouse or goose or whatever it is. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Bob. You know, I gave Bob a basketball hoop for his kid one day. But, you know, you need your own block. 
you know, because, I mean, it, although this last two weeks, you have just kind of been, like, way out there. I mean, you've just been, like... Politics is politics. I know, but, I mean, you've been out there... You remind me of Angry White Boy a year ago. I mean, with <laughs> some of this crap that you've been spouting out. I mean, but anyway. Uh, I think Four Wayne Left either needs to become your blog, or you need to have jeffpruitt.com, or you just blog on your own. Good or good has his little outlet at left of left and a boy. Yeah, yeah, left of whatever. And Bob has his at left of centrist. You need your own. You need your own identity. You don't need them jumping in there, putting that what whatever. Uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but one one thing I want to say. I'm going to register a domain tomorrow morning. Maybe I'll do it tonight since a lot of people may be watching this tonight. <laughs> KeltyForCongress.com. Okay? You know, it wasn't in the uh, game plan for Kelty to be mayor of Fort Wayne. I'm going to support Tom Henry 100%. You know, as long as he does a good job. So now it's time to go after Mark Sutton. And what a better candidate to do it than Matt Kelty. He's qualified. He's got the right vision. And here comes Scott. That's Scott. Uh, so my next mission in life is to convince Matt Kelty and the people surrounding him to have him run for Congress. That might even be a move Fort Wayne Love could endorse. We'll see. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. All right. Thank you.